Last year I shot a deer down inside a ravine, big old bottom, and I boned it out, carried it out on my mainframe pack, took it to the check station, and uh, they didn't like that, told me not to do it again. And uh, so my only solution, if I want to hunt bottoms or go across steep creeks, 10 foot banks, things like that, and pull deer out and not bone them out is uh, I've come up with some kind of pulley system. See if you guys, see what you guys think about this. So let's go up to my just sled and show you what I did here. Okay, on my just sled, what I did, normally you got that, that pull bar right there, that pull connection. Normally pull it and the ropes go underneath of it and secure themselves. So what I did is I pulled out the rope on either side. And now what I've got down here is I got carabiners attached to those ropes that are removable. I've got a pulley system back up the other end. So let's go from where it starts here. I've got a, a rope attached here at this, at this side right here. Goes up to a pulley, and the attachment, the initial attachment, is on the on this this side of the jet sled. Goes to a, a pulley right here, which goes back to my jet sled to the other side of the jet sled, and then it comes back up here to my second pulley. And I have these two pulleys higher than the other. And the reason why initially when I tried this is the ropes were causing friction against each other going in opposite directions. So I'm raising my pulleys. What this should do is reduce my load by two thirds. This rope is 100 foot long. And I'm going to pull on this rope right now. Okay, one hand. Okay, it's moving my just sled. One hand, basically. I got a pretty good size brick in there. It's about 60 pounds. Size of a small deer. And anyway, this is for me pulling deer up slopes, up creeks, not having to gun it out, still keeping my hunting area. Another tip that I have that some of you might have as we all go in the woods with with lights on a lot of times I've noticed when I, I first started running gunning um, I would uh, have a light on my head here and uh, as I was trying to go down uh, get out of my stand break my stand down and go down the steps um, the bill of my hat would get in the way and it would cause a big shadow and cause a little bit of confusion as far as me stepping in, stepping on my steps. Um, at that time, I was hunting with a um, uh, four-step system. Uh, so what I started doing is uh, going with a second light around my neck as I'm going down the trees. And to tell you the truth, that helps out a lot because especially if you're wearing heavy clothes during the winter time. Um, you just back off the stand a little bit and you got a clear view of your steps as you're stepping down. You're cold, you're tired from sitting on your stand all day, uh, your hands are numb, whatever the case is, you don't need to be falling and slipping and hurting yourself. So if you haven't tried the two light system, um, try it. I go in the woods with three lights actually, just redundancy never hurts and if I'm way back in there, you know, it's just me. I do not want to uh, find myself in a situation where I'm um, spending the night or I'm hurt. Uh, you know, I carry extra batteries. I carry two two knives. I keep two knives on me. I keep a knife. Uh, I keep a blade knife uh, or a scalpel knife with me for cleaning out my deer. Um, if I'm back in the woods and another wildlife management area that allows me to bone things out. So anyway, tell me what you think. If you got a better way, I'd appreciate it. This is what I'm sticking with. My season starts here in my state uh, this coming weekend and uh, in another state uh, on the 15th. And this is what I'm going with right now.